Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Who else was in mourning with me on the same day, April 12th, 2021? You don't remember the day? That was the day the beat shield from Crave Beauty was pulled from our lives, ripped out of our hands, and we were told, we'll be back, don't worry. Flash forward to February 23rd, 2023, and Leah Yu brought us the Beat the Sun Lightweight Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 40 PA3 Pluses. That's right, she is finally back, reformulated to meet U.S. standards. There was a whole kind of scandal with some Korean beauty. Actually, they were Korean labs, and it was a whole thing with, like, the SPFs not really matching up to labels and blah, blah, blah. So the whole industry underwent an overhaul, and Leah decided to take her baby, the Beach Shield, and have it meet U.S. standards. So that's what we have now. This does not have Korean sunscreen filters in it. It just has U.S. approved filters. So we're going to talk about this baby. And if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Jennifer. I'm into all things hair, skin, and makeup. And if you are too, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button because you know you're going to come back for more. You guys, the love affair with the Beat Shield was deep. We were all crushed when that was pulled from the shelves. And we waited impatiently and finally 23 months later, this came to our lives. When this went on sale, literally 9 a.m. on the 23rd, I hit add to cart. I actually picked up a couple of things we'll touch on quickly, and I knew that I could not wait. I was blown away when it was here by Sunday. And isn't it weird when we get mail on Sundays? I just, I'll never get used to it. Anyway, luckily it came on Sunday. I got to use it Sunday. I got to use it Monday. Today is Tuesday. I have some thoughts. Let's get down to it. Now, if any of you saw my Naturium sunscreen video, it was not my favorite. It was too thick. It smelled too much like sunscreen. I didn't like the dry down on it. It just wasn't for me. Plenty of people love it. It's just not my type of sunscreen because I love the Korean type of sunscreens. I like that milky, fluidy, kind of sinks into your skin. You don't know what's there. That's how I need to wear sunscreen or I'm not going to wear it. And let's face it, that is the point because the best sunscreen is the one you're willing to wear. All right, let's get in the weeds on this. 1.7 ounces, $20. The filters that they're using or the American approved ingredients, it's 3% avobenzone, 10% homosalate, 5% octosalate, and 3% octocrylene. Now, because I was curious, I went and compared those ingredients with Naturiums, and the first three are exactly the same in percentage in Naturium, and that's all that Naturium uses. The extra 3% of the octocrylene in here is the only difference. Now, I hope by now we all understand that formulation is what matters. The fact that there's the exact same amounts of the first three ingredients, and this is lightweight, it's fluidy, it's almost milky, and the one from Naturium is the complete opposite. I don't even have it anymore. I actually gave it to one of my friends who is like, she likes that sort of sunscreen, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not my cup of tea. Anywho, this is what I like. I like this milky, almost like sheer creamy lotion. This is my jam. And yeah, I'm putting it all over this hand that has been beaten up, torn apart. Sorry, it looks so bad. But do you see that glow? That glow dries down to a soft glow. It's not going to be sticky. It is not matte. It just has a light, beautiful glow. It does not feel slippy. It just sinks in and looks so beautiful. I don't notice it on my skin. It is literally all the things I want in a sunscreen. Now I will say the Naturium is a 50 SPF and I can't remember their PA rating. They may have four pluses. This is a 40 with three pluses. However, I did see Leah Yu on her release day doing an Instagram live and she did mention that they did, it was like six or seven different independent lab testings of the product for SPF and PA rating. We don't use PA rating here in the U.S., but whatever. She did it anyway. And for the SPF rating, it actually came back from two separate labs, one at an SPF 42 and one at an SPF 43. So she went with 40, but it's a little higher than 40. And honestly, anything above 30 is what I really want for my skin. 50 is great, but 40 I'm super pleased with, especially when I get this, this consistency, this feel, the dry down. It takes about five minutes to dry down. I have the time. After I do my skincare, I usually do my hair and then I will put on my sunscreen. So I do let my skincare dry down. Then I put this on and I'm going to give this usually five to 10 minutes to dry down because I'm a putterer. I don't, <laughs> I'm not hopping from one thing to the next. I'm just puttering around the house. So it happens that I have that time for dry down. 
if you don't have the time for dry down, I'll show you in a few minutes me actually putting this on for you so you can see exactly what it looks like on my bare skin. I think you can tell by like my rambling jubilant expression here that I am so happy with this. It was worth the wait. I am loving it so far. It now meets top three. It's up there with my Beauty of Josan and the Isntree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel, all the words. And I can't tell you how thrilled I am to have three sunscreens that I absolutely love and want to wear. Now, is this a sunscreen? Yes, it is, but it's also so much more. And luckily, they put this handy dandy little card in my order. So I'm going to tell you what they told me. All right, so it has beetroot extract, which provides anti inflammatory and antioxidant properties to combat free radicals and UVA rays. You know how I feel about antioxidants. It has vitamin E to help reinforce barrier repair and smooths out the look of skin. Yes, please. It has hyaluronic acid to attract and retain moisture to keep skin hydrated all day and propanediol, which helps prevent skin damage and water loss. So basically what they're telling us, not only is this a sunscreen, but it's also a moisturizer. Those are all moisturizing ingredients that are so beneficial for your skin. So if you have oily skin and you don't wanna use a moisturizer, you don't have to. You can go from your skincare, your serums and whatever, skip your moisturizer and go straight to your sunscreen. If you're like me and you have like normal to slightly dry skin, I used a lightweight moisturizer the past couple days with this. I didn't get like any excess oil buildup. I didn't get like any shine breakthrough. It was perfect. Now come summertime, I probably will skip the moisturizer and just use this. Oh, and I forgot to mention one of the things that I really hate about American sunscreens is the scent. I can't stand that chemical scent. I can smell it on my face all day. That was one of the things I didn't like about the Naturium. Although that scent was lighter, I could still smell it. This one here, I only smell it when I first put it on and then the scent is completely gone. So for those of you who can't stand that chemical scent, you're not gonna be bothered by this at all. And then of course, for those of us who care about sustainability in our components, in our packaging. If you open up the box, mm, <laughs> it has the tear down the side and inside it talks all about their sustainability programs. I have to say, I really honestly believe that Crave Beauty is at the top of the industry when it comes to making sure our packaging is sustainable, making sure that like everything is recyclable, making sure that they're like, looking down the road to seeing if there are other further improvements they can make. Every single thing that goes into what this company has done is always like thinking about sustainability, recyclability, smaller carbon footprint, all the things that we're all thinking about in trying to make a better impact on the planet. If it's not your thing, that's fine. But for the rest of us who care, I'm telling you, read up on it, like in their literature, you'll be blown away at the efforts they go to, to really make their company like a good global citizen. Like I told you, I did pick up two other products. I did not try this when it first came out. It's the Makeup Rewind Transforming Jelly Oil Cleanser. It's made from upcycled grapeseed oil, sunflower seed oil, and vitamin E. When it first came out, I was a little like, wait, what is it? Is it like an actual cleanser? Is it like a first step cleanser to remove my makeup? And I was just kind of like, mm, it's great. I'm glad it exists. I just don't need it yet. But when I placed this order, I did get it. This is super great. I used it the past couple nights and it is a jelly consistency, but it's made from grape seeds. So here again, they are respecting the planet. They're using grape seeds that were, the grapes were already used for wine. So those seeds were just like leftover garbage and they have turned it into this here. So this jelly feels amazing on the skin. If you all saw me talk about the Elemis cleansing balm and how I do not understand the hype, this here, this deserves the hype. I am blown away about how well this works. It feels amazing on the skin. There's no tugging or rubbing. It just glides over in the most luxurious and smooth and gorgeous silky way. Can you tell I'm very enthusiastic about it? And then once you add a little bit of water to it, it gets creamy, you rinse it off and then go on to your second step. I am thrilled about this. A little pissed I didn't buy it when it first launched, but whatever, I got it now. And because it was time, I picked up a new Great Barrier Relief. This is the Reparative Skin Soothing Serum. For me, this is like something that I should always have in my arsenal. It's kind of like Band-Aids. You know how you always have Band-Aids, but you rarely need them. But when you need them, you need them. That's how I feel about this. This serum is one of the best if you've done any damage to your skin, if your skin is sensitized, if it just in general is like 
very finicky and is like easily irritated. This is a dream. I actually even love using this as my moisturizer in the winter when I get a little drier because it is just so soothing, hydrating, moisturizing. I can't say enough about it. If you've seen older videos of mine, which they're probably a shit show, but if you've seen them, oh, that scent, I just love that scent. If you've seen those videos, then you know how I feel about this product. If you don't have it, you really may wanna consider having it because it's one of those products that once you have it in your life, you won't go without it because you realize how important something like this is in your routine. When you need it, you need it. And even when you don't need it, it is still super nice to have. All right, so now I'm gonna show you a little footage of before the makeup was on, me putting on the sunscreen, giving you my thoughts about it, but I mean, spoiler alert, you know I love it. Of course I highly recommend it. Do I think you should get it? Yes, if you're a sunscreen person, you should get it. If you're not a sunscreen person because you just can't stand the way it feels on your skin, you definitely should get it. You know what? Just get it. Get two, one for you and one for your mom. All right, without further ado, here's me coming at you barefaced putting this on for you. All right, here she is looking as cute as can be. So a quarter teaspoon is what we are always aiming for. That isn't a quarter teaspoon, that's probably an eighth, but I like to go in thin layers. As you can tell, that thin milky goodness is exactly what I love because I don't want to feel it. I don't want to notice it. I don't want it interrupting my sensorial experience of the rest of my products. I just want it to be there to do what it is supposed to do. It's like we've all are just like haunted with these sunscreens that we grew up with that were like thick and gooey and sticky and ugh, just has the most awful connotation for a lot of us. Having these lightweight sunscreens now that really like do not interrupt any part of my life is just an absolute godsend. All right, so literally that was my first layer. Do I do multiple layers? Yes, I do. In the summer, I will like let it dry down for a few minutes and then do another layer if I know I'm gonna be outside. I'm actually not gonna be outside today. It's later in the day. I'm gonna be putting makeup on and running errands probably actually around 4.30. So I don't need a sunscreen today. So this is perfect. The amount I have is perfect, but I'm going to show you like layering how nice it works. So there we go. There's another little bit, probably an eighth of a teaspoon. And I like to make sure it's everywhere. You know, they have those little mirrors that you can use that will actually show where the sunscreen is and where the areas are that you've missed. I looked into getting one of those. They're stupid expensive. So not yet. Some more. Get that nose. Now I'm sure you're noticing I do not do like on my eyelids and I don't come right under here. Your skin normally when you put products on will kind of like suck it up and kind of move it a little bit. So I'm not super worried about the area around my eyes because honestly, if I put sunscreen right in this area, it's going to get my eyes. I'm going to tear and have redness no matter what the sunscreen is. And a little more on the sides here. I feel like sometimes I neglect this area and I really wanna make sure I have total coverage. Now, of course, on a normal day, I would be doing my neck and my decolletage, but like I said, today's schedule, I don't need to. All right, so I've definitely used more than a quarter teaspoon. It is just, it is so close to the original, I'm blown away. It's obviously different, she had to use different ingredients, but the lightness, the milkiness of it, there's still that pretty glow. Although, once it dries down, it's not this glowy, and it's not as glowy as the Isentree Hyaluronic Watery Sun Gel. Is that what it's called? The one I love so much. I actually think the glow is a little more on par with the beauty of Joseon. There's a nice glow, but it's not super shiny. It's not greasy by any means. Normally what I do before applying my makeup is I give it like a good 10 to 15 minutes to like sink in, dry down, set up. However, I know sometimes you don't have time to do that. That was me yesterday. And what I love doing, my hands are so like full of sunscreen, I can't open this. I like using a powder and this one in the Patrick Ta Cream Foundation Kit is so nice and lightweight. So if you're someone who is like, I gotta get ready for work. I don't have time to wait for this shit to set up. I gotta do my makeup. The easiest thing to do is go in with a very lightweight powder. And this one here, do you see how little I'm using? 
I'm not looking to make myself look powdery. I just want to give it the lightest set so that I can go on with my foundation without worrying about there being like any sort of movement of the sunscreen and like having my foundation break up the sunscreen at all. Do you see that's so little? But it just like sets it and locks it down a little bit. And all I'm doing is tapping it in here. If you only have loose powder, it's going to be a chore. I would probably just take like the cap like this and tap in the cap for whatever you have in there. I would not go directly into your loose powder. You're going to have way too much. And like I said, just tap around and then you'll be able to go in with your foundation. But if you've got the time to let it set up for like 10 minutes max, you don't need to do this. And of course, if you're not wearing makeup, then who cares? All right, I'm gonna do my quick face and I'll be back with my final thoughts. I know it's sunscreen. I know I am beyond excited about it. I can't help it. If you're just as giddy about this as I am, do me a favor and put like a giant smiley face down in the comments. I wanna know who my Crave Beauties are. All right, you guys, there's not much more I can say about sunscreen and my Makeup Rewind and the Great Barrier Relief. So for today, I wanna thank you all so much for being with me and I'll see you real soon. Mwah.